Hello everybody! Today is a very special video. We're about to bag out this guy who claims to be the fastest violinist in the world. This is what our channel's becoming now. <sighs> and no, we're not talking about this guy. Seven billion population, all the Ling Lings, but this guy is faster than all of them. And you know it's gonna be legit because it's on BBC News. <laughs> Quality news source. Best, best content. <laughs> what gave you the idea of playing? I mean, obviously, you've been probably playing the violin since you were a kid, but mm -hmm. playing it fast. Well, I was knocked off in a bike accident cycling around London about four years ago. I really hurt my wrist. My bandmate in the band Fuse said, uh, Ben, why don't you see this as a target of rehabilitation? Why don't you go for this Guinness World Record? It had been set, and I aim to break it. I am to break it. So straight off, he's got the inspirational story prepared. He's coming from tough times. He, he fell off a bike. Actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was in a wheelchair before. So I told Eddie like, look man, why not just hit 10 million subs? I, I have my inspirational story, so let's hit 10 million subs, guys. If you haven't subbed, please click the smash the subscribe. And let's hit 10 million subs because the world needs to know classical music is more than just playing fast. Uh, just give us a few bars of a normal pace. Now that looks pretty fast to me anyway. Why, why is there five strings on that thing? According to, let me check Wikipedia. What is a violin? It's made out of wood and it has four strings and a body. So he's not even playing a violin. He's not even it's playing like, a violin. It's like not actually a violin. It's a, subcategory of a violin. I think some people might not understand automatically if you're playing an electric violin that's already like cheating because you don't need to worry about, about projection projection contact any of that because yeah. it's like you know okay it's a violin and an electric violin they're two different things so already he's he, the, the title should be fastest electric electric violin slash viola in the world yeah exactly yeah. Now that looks pretty fast to me anyway now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, we practice. If you can play something slowly, you can play it quickly. If you can play something slowly, you can play it quickly. <laughs> oh, only if life was that easy. Yeah, guys. If you can play it slowly, just play it quickly. Just, just become Ling Ling already. What's wrong with you guys? It's all about playing fast, man. I'm gonna serenade you. Okay. Wait, wait, but if you can play it slowly, you can play it quickly. Oh, so much better. So I played it very slowly, and then I got it a little quicker. A bit faster. And eventually I got to 15 notes a second. Fifteen notes a second. I couldn't hear a single one of them because it sounds like. Oh, I can clap fifteen claps a second, right? You know what this is? This is mumble rap on the violin. Yeah, it's mumble rap. You can't hear a single note. What's the point of playing fast if you're not playing the notes? When you learn an instrument, it's all about playing first. Get the right notes. Mm. Then play fast if the piece is meant to be fast. Mm -hmm. Play fast the right notes and hear every single note. Oh, dude, it's so simple. <laughs> now, a little bit faster. <laughs> and now, with 50 notes a second. Interesting. That is extraordinary. Uh, Presumably, you could do that with any piece that you chose. I mean, are there any that are kind of almost sacrilegious that it's a slow piece, it should never be played at speed? <laughs> well, I think uh, Paganini was one of the first violin rock stars, and his music, like Flight of the Bumblebee, is full of quick notes that are continuous. Flight of the Bumblebee has 810 notes. <sighs> That's a great way of dodging a question. He didn't even answer his question. He didn't even answer the question. Hey, Brett. 
Is there any sacrilegious pieces that should not be played fast? Well, Paganini can play 150 notes. <laughs> Semi-quavers, you have to play four per click for the Guinness World Record. And like that, to be able to play 810 notes in under a minute, you could do the same with Paganini, something like Moto Perpetua, which means always moving. That kind of thing. <laughs> Wait, playing fast is one thing. But you also have to play the right notes. Paganini, Moto Perpetua, which means always moving. Except you forgot to move your left hand fingers. <laughs> Thank you.